Dirk. Hello, everyone. Hi, Dirk. Hey. Hello. So, none, neither one of us are preaching on Sunday. Guest preacher? Yeah. Pastor Steve Bossman from Faith Life Church. And maybe his wife Danny is ministering as well. So, at Living Grace, it would be great. First time we have them there. Exciting. It's high time. So, yes. Yeah, yeah, it would be great. And there's been some connections um, through... Uh, well, we've had, um, I've been there and preached on Easter. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. And we developed a friendship over the last few years. So be really good. So please come. Um, but maybe we give a little bit of a plug and talk about what's on your heart. Well, um, one of the things that we started to talk about for this year is we're coming out of COVID. A lot of restrictions are off. Even now, Sunday, no more signing up. No more. No masks. Up. No masks. No masks. No yes. nothing. Just come. You know, even the restrictions. You know, on numbers, it's gone. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. We can fill the place out. Yeah, we can yeah. pack it out. So yeah. come, pack out the place. That would be a great start for yeah. for this. But um, we were talking about some of the things that might like to have a spotlight on them and get them rejuvenated, get them going again. And what's on my heart is actually three things and uh at the moment we're working on the pastoral care yeah so that's uh that's i'm getting that going yeah uh i'm reviving with karen uh the whole thing of what's happening in the mini branches get yes. the small group going yeah, yeah, yeah but what's on my heart is to get the prayer ministry going yes everything from the front line to prayer chain to inner healing to deliverance to the, the whole whole array of what prayer yeah, the ministries. whole spectrum and you're actually connecting it all yep. so that the teaching is together but then people just branch out where you know, maybe god calls them to exactly. serve now that's that's the key i want people to have a good training but their ministry will be in their particular where god is wanting them to to go and and look for instance you know inner healing uh deliverance so what is inner it's healing so if someone listens okay like, yeah. Well, what is inner healing? Yeah, no, it's good. Because the thing is that, um, say for instance, on Sunday, you sort of say, hey, great sermon, I've been stirred, I come forward and we have the prayer line and prayer ministry. But it may be that, you know, there's some issues here that really need some, some sit down yeah. prayer ministry. Yes. Not on the front line, yeah. it's kind of make an appointment yes. and we have a team that actually deals with some, some deeper issues. Yes. Yes. You know, so it really is about prayer ministry, not yes. just a prayer. Yes. And so um, it's it can be dealing with some some oh, hurts and from the past, some unforgiveness from the past, some uh, soul ties from the or past. Inner vows, they inner say, vows. you know, yep. resolves you've made, lies that you have believed, and then it's consistently bad fruit out of that in yep. your life. and. Yep. So sometimes it's not that easy to identify where it's coming from. That's right. And so that's that kind of ministry. So, so it goes to the, to the root yeah. of the, some of the causes. Yeah. Uh, it asks, you know, um, in that exchange, where is Jesus in all of this? What yeah. is he doing? What yeah. does he want to do for you? Yeah. Allow uh, a ministry of that yeah. situation yeah. Yeah. to take yeah. place. It's so exciting. I mean, we've had a Living Grace, Helen and Bernie, Latoya, Tatiana, we're doing that kind of ministry. They may still suit to summer, but we are rebooting it. Yes, like, and that's probably that's a good word. It's not to say these things didn't happen before. Yeah, you know, we had the house of prayer, we had inner healing prayer, yeah, we yeah. had deliverance. You know, all sorts of things were happening. Then COVID and shut everything down. So this is get the embers going again. Yeah, uh, we've got new people. Yes, so maybe a whole new bunch of people yeah, saying, "Hey, yeah. I'd be in there." And to get the training for it. Yeah. And where do you get the training from? Because you know, I know for your ah. life. Ministry is doing stuff like that. There's Sodsto, there's Elijah House School of Prayer, there's LL, there's whole lots of stuff. Well, is it the Dirk special? You're going to have the best of everything. So at the moment, my, a lot of my my focus is getting the gems out of each one of those yeah. and some more. Get, getting an eclectic, yeah. you know, what, what works here, what yeah. works, because a lot of them are the same, just tailored to their particular, you know, situation. And I want to tailor something that is unique to us. So I'm actually going to also add within it the framework of the Temple Walk. Ah, uh, okay. Temple Walk now is that's shorthand for... Shorthand for... When, when, when I had my near-death experience 
and I had these wonderful encounters with God, a visual prayers, mm. prayers that really affected healing prayers, all sorts of amazing things. And I asked God, uh, is this something that I just had because I had a near death experience, a near heaven experience, or is this something I can teach? And so he taught me from Exodus 33, yeah. that, you know, there's a key verse that yeah. he started it all off. And that verse basically says, and Moses met with God as it talked as a friend would speak to a friend. Face to face. Face to face. Yeah. And I heard God saying, that's all I've ever wanted. Yeah. And so I asked, well, how? And I said, and he shared, and it's like, you know, I shared with Moses the layout and this is fulfilled in Jesus. And so the, it starts off with, say, for instance, you know, you come through the, through the temple area. Yeah, yeah. I know I'm getting into yeah, the yeah, teaching. Yeah, yeah. But the but, outcome of the teaching is that everyone can hear God talk to them. Exactly. And which is I, what it is want. an amazing experience, yeah. really, because um, it opens up scripture as well. Yeah. You know, like yeah. we see there in the temple, the altar. Yes. But Jesus says, I'm the Lamb of God who takes away the yeah, sin yeah, of the world. Yeah, 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 that's that's right. temple talk. Yeah, yeah, temple talk. No, but, that's that's brilliant. I like it that it's everything together, so the teaching is yeah. combined. Because even uh, you know, on a Sunday on the prayer line ministry, yes, you haven't got an hour, but uh, quite frequently there's some inner healing things yeah. that go on as well. Exactly. Like, but well, when, if, when we if, do, but if there's more needed, then yeah. you can defer. And you see, the thing is that the wonderful thing about us here is that uh, okay, there's a lot of depth. But we also have this wonderful experience here where the Holy Spirit shows up. You know, when when yeah, when people are overwhelmed when we pray for them. I mean, I was so so um, chuffed in terms of when I've been in other places where that's happened. But you know, to to uh, to minister to people and see that the Holy Spirit is ministering to them as well. Yes. And it's not just a wishful prayer; it's ministry. And this yes. is what I'm excited about: yeah, yeah. that God is doing something, we're doing something, we're we're helping the person; they'll be better for yeah. it. It's, it's and to be excited that, you know, we have the amazing privilege, we can talk to God. Yeah. Like, to the all power, almighty God, and He wants our prayers, and He will, wants to answer them. And So to get into that is just fantastic. So yeah. my challenge, maybe, is let's use this time. Anyone who's listening and saying, hey, I'd love to be part of this. Um, I've already put it into our newsletter that I'm doing this, so yeah. the word is out. But use every Wednesday for a prayer and fasting to check in with yourself. How is that is a call from God for you? I reckon, I reckon it's a call on me, but I'm extending that to everybody else. Get filled with this, with this prayer. Yes. Get filled with the Spirit. Get filled with a walk that is in prayer every Wednesday during this time leading up to Easter. After Easter, uh, when, you know, after the holidays are over, so probably first week in, in May, we'll start this training. Okay. How, how many sessions is the training? The sessions will probably be about six to seven. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's not that long. But what are you going to charge? It's it's pure gold. So how much are you going to charge for it? You're paying for me. <laughs> <laughs> me? <laughs> well, you know, it'll be interesting. Let's see how it goes because um, it may actually become a ministry that is well known, just like you said, like Freedom Life. Oh, for Freedom others, Life, yeah. You know, yeah, you know something we'll see something. I'm very excited about it. So, yeah, we invite everyone... Yeah, pray about it. See where God calls you into that ministry and mm -hmm. so good to have that in the church. Wouldn't it be great to have a team like that? Yes. Oh, Amen. All right. Bye, everyone. Okay. See ya.